Hello there. Um, I have a new journal to share with you. Uh, this is a um, traveler's notebook style journal with two inserts. But it's not the standard traveler's notebook size. This is a uh, six and three quarters approximately by eight and three quarters. So the paper that will fit in the two inserts in this journal are just regular 8 by 11 paper that you can fold in half and then just put it and make change your inserts out so and you don't have to cut the edges or anything so I like that size and the reason it came out to be this size is I came across at an estate sale a box of old Oxford file guides and they look like this. Here, set this to the side for a second. They look like this. I'm too close, it's too big here. Anyways, it's a um, real nice weight, bends real good, takes fabric glued on it, very nice, and you just cut the tabs off and fold it over and put your eyelets in the side and it makes a real nice Traveler's Notebook insert type journal. So, And I have a whole box of those and I'm going to look for more when I go estate sailing. So this is a fabric cover. Um, some upholstery fabric that I got in a sale. And a doily that I cut up with some vintage quilting fabric. A picture off of some scrapbook paper, some more vintage fabric. It has an elastic band that's attached. And as I said, it has two signatures. On the inside, I took some scrapbook paper that had a pattern in it and I cut it out. And this is attached to it. This is a little, I don't know what you call it. These are little embellishments that I make. Um, I took some burlap piece of burlap. I fringed it a little bit. Then I glued a um, vintage tag on it, a little vintage uh, fabric, and then off of some more scrap paper, this lady on there. And then I glued all this on there. Sometimes I'll sew, sometimes I'll glue. I probably glue more than I sew. And then I attach this to the thing. So I like to make these um, with my scraps and use them up. So I'll make them ahead of time. And here's a little box that I keep. And on one day, I'll just get in the mood to get my scraps down. And I'll take a little piece of like, this is, if you can see, this was a big doily that I cut pieces out. Because it wasn't round, so you couldn't use it for that. And then I just started gluing little things to it, like a vintage hook size thing to it, a little sticker, some little pearls, and then I actually put some little glitter on there. This is a little piece of scrapbook paper that looks like an ad with another thing that I've got from a sale. It was like an old coaster. And then this is jewelry. I pick up pins from estate sales, old costume jewelry. I pinned it on there. Put a little brad in there. Now I have, I can make this into a pocket and I could make it into, or just a flip up like that, or just a decoration. And um, I can glue it on or sew the edge onto some paper and use that in a book. And you just follow the, the piece of lace that you have and build on it. This is some more, probably from that same piece. And then I just started taking my pieces and sticking them together, gluing them on, put some little pearls, some little flowers. That could be a nice side tuck on a page. That's some more costume jewelry. A little pin I made with some little beads on it. This is a coffee filter that I stamped. A little piece of an ad that I cut out. That was actually from a vintage paper. 
some more scraps from the fabric. I actually put some metal on this one. That's a little bit of metal, some snaps. Anyways, it's fun to do with your scraps. Just fold it over a little doily piece and pinned a couple things. Pin this pin on it, put a, and you can just, and then of course, a lot of people make the altered paper clips, which I don't make a lot of those, but this one. So that's where that came from. And then I also, with my scraps, if you'll see over here on this page, I kind of make like a little bookmark. I just take a long piece of paper and I start gluing things to it little scraps all over just adding and adding some metal until you have a kind of a decorated bookmark that you can stick anywhere you can use it as a bookmark eventually now this one I haven't sometimes I've backed them this one I did not back um, I, th I liked what it said on the back and um, in journaling I think you could use it or they could you can just glue some paper on there and then write on the back of it. So we have that tag with a little bit of napkin on it. A real, this is not a printout, this is a real vintage card that I got. Real stamps on it. This is some more of that fabric from the front, only this is the back of it. And then a fabric clip I don't want to turn easy. I should clip that back. A little tuck spot, the tag. All the fabric in here is vintage fabric that I've gotten off of sales. This is actual vintage paper that I got from a sale. That is just a regular postcard though <laughs> that I edged and made dots on. Little fabric clip. Here's some embroidery. This is actually from a very old embroidery book. I think it's at least 1920 something. I love the designs on there. This is a piece of a hanky, very old hanky, a little bit of see through material, some tracing paper that's been coffee stained, it's been edged with some lace. This is a copy of some music, a music page. A little bit of lace, a little bit of stamping. This is an actual vintage inventory sheet. A little bit of stamping. A little ad that I printed out. Another part of a ledger paper. These papers here, I'll point them out. These come from a design shop on ISTE called Manu Designs. Uh, she makes beautiful things. She's from Germany. This is a center. You can use it like a monthly calendar, the center of the elastic. And I left the strings kind of long. You can cut them off. Uh, you can untie this too and tighten it up. You can add another uh, elastic on there. I think I, that's why I like these, is they have so many possibilities. Graph paper, then I sewed a doily on there. Other part of that inventory paper. Some more lace. Lots of coffee staining. This is another little Part I made, I just took some burlap and some scrap paper, clock and a little, and glued it all on there. It, but it's like that. Some more of that embroidery page. I had a lot of fun stamping on this one, it looks like. I like the different sizes of paper. I think in journaling that probably is a lot of fun. This is the next signature. It's got a belly band. This, I got an idea off of uh, Junk Turtle Junkies, I'm not sure who it was, I'm terrible with names, making your own envelope, 
and this goes through to the other side and it was just a piece of cardstock that was folded out and I sewed all these it's paper it's lace it's fabric and I inked the sides and then once I had that done I folded it together and I sewed it to make its own little pocket that flips out and this side I just put some tissue paper on this is a little this is it's bigger than just one page it's a couple pages and it's from a little vintage notebook address book and then I also made some some button clips where you just glue a button on the end and whenever I do glue this fabric or I glue the buttons or I glue all the lace together I always use Elaine's tacky glue some people like to use uh, fabric tack and I finally have a little bit of that but this works good too on most of it I haven't had any trouble with it this is from an old farm farmers log book there's even some of the writing on that side more of that vintage little paper okay I didn't count how many pages this is this is a little I need this paper you can use that as a little tuck on this side too some more manuscript paper a total insert that you can use as a monthly calendar on both sides so useful this is a real vintage card. I think these would be like placemat cards. But it's real old, very pretty. And this uh, came from a 1980 wedding dress that I deconstructed and now repurposed. A journaling card, vintage, another belly band. I sewed in some embroidered pocket and a journaling card. Looks like when I'm this close, I'm not quite in frame, so hopefully all this shows up. The part of that farmer's logbook. The other side of that envelope. And then Another tag I made just off of some, I had a little bit of velvety paper, or um, fabric, and I pinned a little bit of lace on there, a little bit more lace, glued a little bit of lace to make a little spot. Alright, and then more tag, and a tag, and this kind of shows more what's behind the one in the front. I just cut that out and inked it. There we go. So this will be available on my ISTE store. I'll be putting the link in the description box and I uh, hope you guys have a good day and thank you for watching.